A tradition more than 30 years in the making is gracing Huntsville stage once again. Fantasy Playhouse is hosting a Christmas Carol for the 32nd time. And joining us to talk this morning is the artistic director, Stephen Tyler Davis. So Stephen, we understand that this second showing is this weekend. Tell us a little bit about the first showing and how that went. It was fantastic. We had sold out crowds from Huntsville, um, people coming from all over. This is such a huge tradition for our community. Uh, so to see families, intergenerational uh, grandparents and grandkids and people who've been bringing their families to this show for years, uh, it's just so excited to see, see them come in and just fill the space with the joy. And, and we have, the families are on stage as well. So um, families come in, audition, and set aside their whole holiday season to do this. It's very exciting. And for people who may not be familiar, give a quick rundown of what A Christmas Carol, the story it tells. A Christmas Carol is the classic story of Ebenezer Scrooge, <laughs> the miserly old man who um, has to learn the true meaning of, spirit, uh, of Christmas by being visited by three three spirits of his past, present, and future. Uh, it's a classic redemption story and a wonderful reminder for us to live in our holiday spirits, happy core values all year long. And Thursday, there's a very special performance on Thursday that's sensory yes. friendly. Explain what that means and who it's for. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this up. This is a really exciting um, new series that Fantasy Playhouse is rolling out. We're really trying to make history here in Huntsville. Uh, we're trying to create space for differently abled audiences. So we're rolling out these sensory friendly performances. Uh, folks that might have family members on the autism spectrum or uh, young kids that may not have experienced theater before and you know kind of want to do like a little theater life for the first time are welcome to come. We have these sensory friendly kits that, uh, that uh, patrons can get with sunglasses and ear protection and fidget toys and uh, things that might help uh, folks access live right. theater differently. And so uh, we had our first one with Charlotte's Web in October. It was a huge success. So we're really trying to reach out to this community and, and, and wrap our arms around folks and make sure that they know that they have a place at Fantasy. I love that. I think it's so important. Thank you. And also, we heard that you got to trade in your director seat for a place <laughs> in the production. I mean, tell us about yes. that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, this is theater for you you know the phrase the show must go on y'all know the show must go yeah. on i know that y'all are like probably coming up with stuff every day right so well yesterday we got a phone call that one of our actors was sick and so i grabbed a script and pulled a costume and went on for the character of old joe yesterday okay and you didn't he didn't even have all day to do this how many hours did you have to prep i had a couple hours i went in and met with um with, with lena the director who staged everything and she plugged me in and you know I'm the artistic director so I kind of see big picture mm -hmm. but she was like all right you're in the scene now <laughs> so um, I got in I learned my lines quickly I had an amazing cast I mean, I, it's this fantasy family you just go on stage and you trust the people that you're on stage with they're going to take care of you and it's just part of the fantasy magic so we had a great time it just goes to show how well oiled of a machine this is right. that everyone was sort of you were sure about the lines that you quickly learned but everyone around you was also they were like right you there. said before we started the interview they they were pushing you totally yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was like direction. i don't know where to go they were like yes you do right over here and now you're gonna sit down and smile at scrooge oh goodness <laughs> so tell us uh times location what do people need to know if they want to go see this great we have a, just a handful of tickets left i mean we are this close to sold out. Your best bet is going to be to come to our sensory performance on Thursday. We'll start back with that at 5 o'clock at the VBC Playhouse right here in downtown Huntsville. Uh, we'll run through Sunday. We have uh, two performances on Saturday, a 1 and a 6, and then Sunday, a 1 and a 6. And we'll close, and then we'll be back next year for year 33. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here with us, Stephen. My pleasure. And for thank sharing you. about this opportunity for the community. Awesome. And we're going to take a break and we'll be right back.